Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I am the One Piece nerd, and today let's talk about events after Reverie. So, um, uh, Volume 2 of Road to Laughter is out. This time, again, we didn't get much of an information. For someone who's been an avid reader of One Piece for a long, long time, most informations this time around weren't very, you know, significant for me. There were some things to, you know, analyze, especially about Shanks and Blackbeard and all that, but hey, I've already speculated as much as I can. Um, Shanks is still a very mysterious character. The amount of time he's appeared on the show, on the manga, it's not enough to actually judge his motives, but maybe we could get more after he reintroduces himself after Wano, which is likely to happen. But aside from that, there wasn't really anything important in Volume 2. And just to give you guys a news, I think Road to Laugh Tale will continue for the next two weeks, Volume 3 and 4, until we get Chapter 1054, which is good, which is good for most readers, but not for me, if this keeps up. Anyways, that aside, let's talk about events after every. This volume also, this data book also talked about, data book, volume, whatever, also talked about events after Reverie, things that went down, the chaos the world is in. Gave us a little bit of hint of what might what might be happening, just accumulated everything that has happened throughout Reverie and now is taking place. So let's talk about it. Event number one, the warlords were abolished. In my buggy video that got 200 views, thank you so much for the 200 views to everyone who watched it. Uh, buggy, I speculated that Major players, major players in the new world, including Mihawk and perhaps Weevil, maybe, has joined up Buggy because he was a name that, you know, stood out from everyone else. Now, I don't know where the reason, what the reasons are if, if anyone joins Buggy's crew after, you know, after everything that has happened in the new world. Maybe some of Kaido's or Big Mom's lions went to Buggy's faction or something in the new world happened, something significant that led other rookies or even big players in the new world to join get, join with Buggy. And that's the only thing I've talked about. But things can still go south for everything that has happened with the Warlords. Buggy, namingly, is the only one out of the, out of the four Warlords that the Navy was targeting to be under quite a bit of trouble but he somehow made himself an emperor which means he's sort of out of the trouble of being captured by the world government that leaves weevil mihawk and boa as for weevil he could end up joining with buggy because circumstances made him do so or fight fight off against the world government or the marines the way he usually did when what he was supposed to do for Mihawk, I have a huge theory, I have a huge speculation, and a huge favor with Mihawk joining Buggy. Or Mihawk joining Shanks. I don't know, for that matter. Anything could happen. Shanks could go after Mihawk, the time when the Marines arrived, and helped him, sort of take him on the crew, or something like that. Some sort of an alliance was formed that helped Mihawk escape, or something along that line. As for Boa, though... She is the one person that I believe to be in very big trouble alongside Sabo and Vibi. So, in Reverie, another thing that went wrong is something with the Alabaster Kingdom. After Garp, uh, you know, helped Shirahoshi and King Neptune to go back to Fishman Island, he stated that after Reverie was over, something went wrong with the Alabaster Kingdom. Something went wrong with King Cobra and Vivi. And... Coincidentally, Sabo, because he was on the newspaper, he is also on, he's also hanged on a, a, like a picture in some sort of a near town in the last chapter that we saw. Something's wrong with Sabo and Vivi. Now, what I'm speculating is King Cobra is presumably dead. King Cobra is presumably dead and Sabo and Vivi, I don't know if they made it out alive or maybe if they've been captured the same way Boa has. Because, if you think about it, Oda gave us a little bit of hint that some grim is going, something grim is going to happen to Boa, Sabo, and Vivi. And we saw Im-sama holding Vivi's paper 
Vivi's picture, maybe something to do with that as well. Sabo being trying to save Kuma or somehow, you know, fought the admirals and somehow got defeated or captured or maybe even killed. And that's the story for that. If they somehow manage to escape, trouble for the world government has also increased a lot. Maybe the revolutionary army are now making a move. After Sabo's absence or perhaps his fake news or real news in the newspapers, Dragon could presumably have made a move. You don't expect Luffy to now show up in Marineford or in Bildan to save him. That is very unlikely, I don't think Oda will repeat that plotline, but it's rather possible that Dragon himself will do that because Sabo is his second in command. You don't want your second in command to be in trouble with the world government, the same way Ace was to Whitebeard. Revolutionary Army is making a move right now, may, could make a plausible explanation because the time when the Dragon knew about the entire news, this was before the raid started. Could have been a week after, a week or three weeks after the raid started. I cannot remember the timeline properly, but it could be a week or three weeks bef after whatever went down with Sabo and the Revolutionary and the Revolutionaries and Alabaster Kingdom in Reverie. Aside from that. The emperors are now changed, the balance of powers can no longer be maintained. Because, as you know, Big Mom and Kaido have been big names. Just because they're down doesn't mean the only place that, that you know, faces problems with the world is Whole Cake Island and Wano. But rather, allied nations or, you know, places that Kaido and Big Mom had under control. Big Mom didn't only have Whole Cake Island. I mean, she didn't only have, you know, the areas we've been in for the Big One Pirates. She might have also been, you know, affiliated with a bunch of other places in the New World that is also under trouble. The same way Fishman Allen was after Whitebeard was killed. The same way other places in the world could also be in trouble, where pirates are now targeting territories of the previously mentioned emperors. And you know, creating havoc, though so this is the same way that the other pirates did when Whitebeard went out of command. Now, imagine now talking back, going back to Yonkos, the one person I do expect to make a major, major move that can create a huge problem in the world government, within the world, and for the world government and the marines, is the Blackbeard Pirates. This could be a separate video in and of itself, but I have nothing much to speculate. I've already speculated what Blackbeard could be up to the last time he appeared. He said that if the Navy is just going to take it, I might as well claim the price or something along the lines of while the Navy is busy, I will go grab something for myself. We know he's been hunting devil fruits, but he wouldn't be saying he wants to leave Hachinosu just to go after devil fruits when he can just do that with his crew members while being in Hajinosu, which means he's up to something. He's definitely up to something. A, specula a small little bit of speculation that can go around in my head is Gekko Moria's Devil Fruit. Gekko Moria has now arrived in Hajinosu, he's trying to fight off against Blackbeard, and it's almost impossible for him to win. There is almost no way that Moria gets out of there alive. Which, is also, which also means the Blackbeard has now Gekko Moria's Shadow Shadow Fruit, or whatever his fruit was called. He has it. He can now take corpses of the people who are dead and, may, and use shadows and make them come back alive. Now, this is the same concept as Edo Tensei in Naruto. Not a lot of, fan, not a lot of people are a fan of it. But if used creatively, if used properly, I think this can have a justifiable reason. Gekko Moria used it to some degree and to some potential. But I think Blackbeard can use it better, come up with better schemes, and better ways to use the fruit, and even go for better pirates or great, great people that have lived throughout the years. The possibility of Roxy's ever coming back can also be true. We know there, we know there's there's some connection between Blackbeard and Zevek. So you know him looking for Zevek's corpse, or somehow trying to bring Zevek's will back into existence, could help that could help him go a long way. 
if he wants to conquer the world and become king of the pirates. That's it for the speculation for Blackbeard Pirates, but they could be doing other things as well. For example, going to Whole Cake Island or other territories of Kaidos and Big Moms in order to look for specific devil fruits or in order to gain information or to gain infamy or to gain land for himself or even collect better recruits for his entire crew. That being said, this is all I have for events that could happen after Reverie. This is the chaos the world is in. This is as much of a speculation I can make for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And it helps out the channel a lot, more than you guys know. And thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, peace.